Good morning, Mike. So uh, I wanted to kind of go over this. Uh, I've obviously first fixed this. Um, these categories, um, if you're trying to change the name of the category like rod or whatnot, as opposed to filter, um, you're gonna go into products, product categories, and then you'll change the name here, right? So um, there are filters, rods, power stroke, um, shop all, there's rods, there's filters, you could change the categories here. So um, you go over to edit, and then, or you can add a new subcategory, and then you would make those changes here. Um, this is also where, um, so, uh, this is also where you'd set like default or um, if there's a category image or anything like that. Um, and then you can save and exit. Um, so next, the place that you're gonna edit the links of the homepage is actually gonna be in code. Um, so you're gonna go into the storefront and you're going to go into advanced edit theme files. Um, this is where they alert you that you are making changes to the theme as a whole. So you want to be careful because um, changes that you make can um, uh, negatively impact the site. So templates, components, um, sorry, uh, it is, Home page, components, and featured category, featured category. All right, so I'm gonna go through this one soon. Templates, components, theme veil, which is the theme, home page, components again, or component again, featured category. Now, this is where you will see filter. You will also see the link for the filter um, and how it's how it's clicking there. The link reference, um, same thing for the rod. So we want to be very careful here. But if you want to change the name of rod, like rods, rotting, anything like that, you would just go into this, type it in, and then hit save and apply to file. Um, you can also preview, and if anything breaks, all you're gonna do, go back, go to your help down here, and make sure that you have the uh, support pin. Um, actually, I'm going to turn you over as a store owner, um, because I think we're all wrapped up with changes, but this support pin is very key to you having the ability to make um, changes on the site and um, yeah, uh, and being able to utilize this. Um, so that support pin will pop up for you after this video. Again, um, edit theme files, templates, components, theme veil, homepage, component, and featured category. So let me know if you have any questions or concerns or comments and hope you're having a lovely day.